Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Verigan Holmes and you have tuned back into Project Fear. It is currently about 4 in the morning and I have a cat laying on one arm, so let's get right into it and have some fun, shall we? Hmm, there we go. Oh, there hey. you are. How did we get separated? What do I know? I remember the power going out in the elevator. Then the next thing I knew, I, I was arriving on the top floor and you were gone. You should have a visual on the evac cover. Yep, there it is. Oh my god! This is crazy! I am not waiting here! My dad's in danger! Your dad will be fine. You're the one I'm worried about. You just need to calm down. Sorry. This way! How am I supposed to do that? These doors don't just open. Oh, I guess they do. Let's see, what was that slow-mo button again? Was that X? No, it was... That was... Oh yeah, I... I forgot to mention that the arm my cat is laying on is the arm that I use to control my mouse. Stop rolling around, you furry creature. You're throwing me off my game. Okay, uh... Alright, so this is gonna be a very interesting experience. Because I'm pretty much gonna be even worse at aiming now. No, I probably should have done something to warm up first. Because I just feel like I'm not going to be able to provide quality entertainment for you guys. Unless I do something to get warmed up first. Oh well. Let's see, that's what F does, okay. Ooh, that's some dramatic ass music playing. I don't see any bad guys, except these guys over here, these guys down here. Uh, grenade? Grenade! You can have that, and you can have this. And look at me sharing and caring. I'm like a goddamn Care Bear. No, you don't. You need buckshot in your life. There you go. See, life's better now. You weigh a lot less. Hello. Huh. There we go, see? Look at that. See, you don't need legs, man. They just get in the way of everything. See, look at this. You don't need these and you already made it, like, this far. Oh, there's something in here. Am I supposed to go in the elevator? I don't know. Miss Wade, can you hear me? Yes. What do you think you're doing? I have to know if he's okay. Last guy seemed fine. Hey, that's rude. Besides, the last guy that caught was fine. I mean, he was a little battered, and he had a bomb strapped to his chest, but, you know, he seemed pretty fine. Yeah, might as well. Alright, what do we got in here? Hello? Sup, bitch? It's only rude if the other guy says it. I can say it all I want. Because I'm the one doing all the hard work. Hey, look, exposition. You have three new messages. First message from Marlon Wade. Hey, fell with Harlan. I'm pretty sure Genevieve is considering some pretty drastic measures to cover her bony ass. I'll tell you straight up that I'll be fucked if her or any one of her little toadies is going anywhere near the vault. She already caused enough damage thinking she could just march in there and start over from scratch. If she comes to you for backup, remind her that we locked that place up for a reason. Next message from Genevieve Aristide. Phil, how are you? It's Genevieve. I haven't seen you at Maurice's lately. We should get together for happy hour once this mess blows over. Oh, speaking of which, I have a favor to ask. I know you and Harlan go back away, so I was hoping you could try to reason with him. He refuses to forgive me for sending those poor people into the vault, as though 
unhappy about what happened. I made a mistake, but I don't see why everyone else should have to pay for that. Anything you can say to get him to see reason would be appreciated. Next message Oh, from Jesus Christ. Thank you. Also, I just realized I think my cat's purring. If you listen closely, you can hear him. And then you can go, aw, kitty. And then realize I'm still playing a game and go, oh yeah. This guy has slow mo and a shotgun. And his enemies have extremely stretchy necks. Oh yeah, I've noticed. What the fuck is that? I mean, that's not the ninjas. Cat, what are you doing? Stop trying to knock shit over. <sighs> I mean, seriously, it's enough that you're cutting off circulation to a very important extremity. You don't have to go and knock shit on the floor as well. Ah, <sighs> weird freaking animal. I don't understand cats. I don't think I ever will. Oh, so that's what this is. Freaking drones. God damn it, it's the future already. Oh my god, cat. What are you doing? You're lucky I was in slow mo. Alright, the cat's gone now. I've sufficiently scared him off. Oh man. Feels nice to have blood back in my hand. Now, I'd have tried moving him earlier, but god, he's fucking stubborn. Suck it! What else we got? What else do we got? Let's jump out a window. Let's not jump out a window. That would be bad. Let's punch a cola machine. Nope. Not gonna give us any fizzy cola. Alright, do I jump down a floor or... Yes, so. Maybe. Or maybe... Or maybe it was me turning down the volume on the music so I can hear myself freaking think. Oh, well, that's cute. Look at that, dancing lamp. You go, lamp. Follow your dreams. Get some dreams. What else we got? What else we got? I'm pretty sure I've actually already been through here. This looks rather familiar, but it's an office building. They all look the same. But there's health. Yeah, I came glomping through here already, didn't I? Fuck, I went backwards. Son of a bitch, where am I going now? Ah, uh, classic me. Fucking lost. At least that inadvertent backtracking helped me find something. I guess. Okay, that's not gonna work. So we go this way. We hear the scary robots. We go this way. There's more scary robots around this corner. Right here. 
And then we go over here and find. Oh. Let me through. Can I not get through? Um, I suppose. Um. Shit, I'm totally fucking lost. Okay, so I crouch jumped out of this window, and hopefully that's worked. Probably pull my gun out for this. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody here? I want to punch you in the face because you're a pain in my ass. No one? Anyone? Nope, nope. Nah. -uh. Place is freaking empty. This room is a waste of time, so. Fuck that computer. Nobody needs it. Cause they are dead. More of you? Get out of here, you stupid freaking toaster. Jeez. I don't need my bagels toasted. You guys I can deal with. Hey you. Pistols. I said pistols. There we go. Ow! Fucking... Stupid wife fighters. Go back to Star Wars. Holy crap, they hurt. What is this? Shotgun. Shotgun works best on everything. Alright, you science fiction brats. Come here. Let me give you some 12 gauge loving. Go burn in a hole, you piece of crap. Thank you, Radio Man. Your news reports have helped me get through this harsh time. Mainly because it's funny to hear that you have no idea what's actually going on, but some semblance of a clue. Check the stairs. Yeah, check the stairs. Here I am. Peace! You get some too, don't worry. You can have some as well. And there we go, Mr. Flying Gun. Everybody's happy. Except for you, because you're dead. But that makes me even more happy. And when all of the living people are happy, the dead people don't matter. If that makes any sense. I don't know what I'm saying. All I know is more exposition. Let's listen to it. You have two new messages. First message from... Harlan Wade. Jedi, Harlan Wade here. I got your message. First off, please don't presume to know my feelings. It's insulting. And don't lecture me about burying the dead like some fuckwit shrink. The bottom line is that we wouldn't be in this situation if you didn't ignore my warnings. And now you want to dig the hole deeper. Sooner or later, you're gonna dig right down to hell. Next message from... Phil Vecchio. I got your message, Genevieve. I think what Harlan is trying to say is that we should be leery of knee-jerk impulses. I understand there's some time for us to consider, but we really need to be thinking strategically. Reopening the vault at this point strikes me as a dubious proposition. Probable that we just be adding fuel to the fire. End of 
Oh. Okay, I guess we're done here. I got too busy punching a cactus. Stay down. Saw this one coming. Cookies for you. Cookies for you. I'm sorry, sir. We're out of cookies, but would you like some tea and biscuits? Yes? No? Awesome. You enjoy that now. Ooh, armor. I could use that. I could also use a few med kits, because I'm getting my ass beat. I could also use uh, some, some motivation to speak clearly, because... I don't know. I think I've been mumbling for a while. Could be wrong. Won't know until I play it back. Love you. Love you. Hey, say hi to your sister for me. And you... I already shot you. Uncle Jerry! Don't hide behind walls. I'm too old for peekaboo. Ow! You sneaky son of a bitch. I'll give you points. You did good on that one, kid. Ah. Uh, Alright. Well, the metal wasn't made from Harlem Wade's DNA. There's an email from Wade about the subject being in an induced coma. Those EDC security goons killed Bishop because somebody didn't want this getting out. They aren't just worried about some ethically questionable bioengineering experiments. I think they're covering up some pretty nasty shit. Yeah, they're covering up the complete destruction of a little girl's mind because they're assholes. And yeah, this whole thing is just completely unethical in every way. Oh well. Arm cam sucks. We all know this. I came from over here. Which means I'm heading this way, where I was. Where there is nothing else to do. Am I going to get lost again? I really don't want to get lost again. That's fucking broken. This is fucking broken. Then where do I go? What's back here? Anything? Nope. There perhaps a vent or something? Ah, an open door with this thing in it. Whew, almost missed that. That would have been a terrible thing. Wait, what? Did I re yeah, I restored power to an elevator. That's what that switch dot did. did. <laughs> That one switch restored power to only an elevator. Not the entire floor, not a whole building, but one flippin' elevator and a couple of lights. I think. I'm sorry for the trouble, but I just made it to my car. Oh, cool. Wait, wait. If you'll just wait a minute. I can't. I have to go. Miss Wade. Oh, come on. Go to the parking garage for pickup. Okay. I'm gonna take my sweet time though, because I have no idea the blueprint of this building. Nobody ever told me anything. They just kind of shoved me in here and said, Go get him, tiger! Whereas I just stood there like an idiot going, Where? Oh shit. There's lots of them. Shotguns are not long range. Still pistols can be though. These things are pretty accurate. Let's see, uh, shoot you over there. Alright. No, these aren't working out too well. Alright, uh, this should work. Yeah, let's vaporize some suckers. You get vaporized. You don't get vaporized. 
because I flinch like a motherfucker when I get shot, apparently. I'm not as hard-boiled as I believed. And you... get pecued. And you... also get pecued. Ah, all these guys getting all pecued and stuff. That is a verb, okay? Pecu is an action. You can get pecued. Like this guy. Only in the past tense, it is something you don't want to be. Only in the present tense, or future tense, it is something that you would like to do. To pecu is to shoot this sort of weapon and... Well, pecu people. Pecuing is the act of doing so. And pecued is what happens when you're these guys. And they're all pecued. There we go. You lovely gentlemen. Let's see, rocket launcher. Let's go, uh, pew pew rifle. Oh, that's a dead, uh. Whatever he is. Security guard or something. Pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! Oh, they just got fucked up. Pew pew pew! That's my status. Pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! Alright, something horrible. Is there a big angry guy coming up? Some yep, there is. Alright. Uh, shotgun. Shotgun, shotgun. There we go. All done. Poor Tiger Lily. Nobody loves you. Going back to the pew pew gun. Because who doesn't like a good pew pew gun? Alright, on moi. Ooh, such intense music. This way. Oh, shh. It's good to see you in one piece. Bitch, I just damn near shot you and your friends. Get that bird in the air. Jesus Christ. Yeesh. Well, that does it for this episode, guys. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will uh, catch you on the flip side. Peace.